I'm walking to the store from my house past yours. I go east and the north and I make it to the store. I buy what I need and I want to go home. I don't want to get stuck in the catacombs. I decide to go through, through the woods, straight to my house. I understood. I made a triangle. I never thought I could. I knew I went two miles east and four miles north. How long would the path through the woods be? I know what to do. It's obvious, of course. Use the Pythagorean theorem for cases like these. C squared equals A squared plus B squared. Please, please, don't be scared. The C is a hypotenuse or the diagonal line of a triangle. Substitute with your values and solve like it's a regular problem. Square, square root, and add. Now you see, it isn't that bad. Once you've evaluated, you should have your answer. Whatever equals C is your answer. Now it's time to substitute. Our new equation is c squared equals 2 squared plus 4 squared. Man, this math problem is looking real cute, but of course you can personalize it with your own values. To keep going now, we square 2 squared equals 4, and 4 squared equals 16. Our updated problem is now c squared equals 4 plus 16. Simply add the two integers to get 20. Now we have c squared equals 20, but hold your horses, this isn't the key. c squared equals a squared plus b squared. Please, please, don't be scared. The c is a hypotenuse or the diagonal line of a triangle. Substitute with your values and solve like it's a regular problem. Square, square root, and add. Now you see, it isn't that bad. Once you've evaluated, you should have your answer. Whatever equals C is your answer! We are almost through. Just stay in the loop. It's finally time to use a square root. Since C squared equals 20, isolate the variable. You see, square root both sides of C is alone. You should end up with C equals about 4.5. The Pythagorean theorem is helpful. It's not a myth. C squared equals A squared plus B squared. Please, please, don't be scared. The C is a hypotenuse or the diagonal line of a triangle. Substitute with your values and solve like it's a regular problem. Square, square root, and add. Now you see, it isn't that bad. Once you've evaluated, you should have your answer. Whatever equals C is your answer.